Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about large language model and small language model. So when it comes to the generative AI world, large language models, we know we have been uh, playing around with multiple large language models. You can see like the chat GPD and um, Granite, all those uh, powerful models are available in the world. You can go and explore it. But what exactly the small language model? The small language models are less in the parameter, less in the size. And you can use that small language model in your desktop and play around with it. And you can build the application by integrating that small language model with your applications. Or you can create your own chat application and integrate this uh, the small language model in your desktop itself. And uh, what are all the benefits of large language model? It has large parameter and you can use that to get the quality of data and the uh, output will be very perfect because of the large parameter. But in case of small language model, that facility is not available. It is uh, having like um, uh, millions of parameters, but it will not produce the high quality output as compared to the large language model. And benefit of small language model is you can use it in your desktop and you can play around. That is the powerful benefit of small language model. And you don't need a lot of resources compared to the large language model. For example, if you want to deploy a small language model, you can deploy it in the environment which is available in your home, that is desktop or laptop. But in case of large language model, you must go with the kind of uh, big environment where you need uh, the powerful servers, GPUs, CPUs, etc. So here in this video, I'm going to cover two important tools that you can use to play around with small language model. And also there are certain possibilities you can use the reduced size of the large language models in these tools and play around. Let's go. Hope you can see my screen. I just picked uh, the hugging chat. The hugging chat is one of the playgrounds that where you can pick the model and uh, train the model and you can do the system plotting with this model and you can create the applications and integrate this model with your application. So I'm gonna click on the new chat and it will create this environment for you to, to play around. If you look at this, you can see the current model is uh, Meta Llama uh, 3.170 billion instead. So I can just use this uh, model to uh, chat or I can system from this model, I can use this for my um, internal application purpose. So I'm just asking what is the value of pi here? So this model is going to bring from this model parameter trained with this data, it is going to give the answer to this question here. So suppose if you want to go with uh, choosing different models, come here and pick different model, whatever you want to play around with. So let's check this, this mistrial. And I'm going to ask the same question. Now look at this current model is uh, mistrial. You can play around here. So this will give the details about uh, the things that you are asking. And also, if you come here, you can see the assistance. These assistants were built by the community. You can pick any of this assistant and start asking the question. So for example, image generator, I'm gonna pick, start chatting. So we are going to use this image generator application, which was built using particular model. And I'm going to ask like, uh, can you, bring an image of pi. So it is trying to generate the image. So it generated this image. So similarly, you can go and play around with uh, models uh, or applications generated by these communities using these models. And also you can come to settings and pick what are all the models available for you to play around. Suppose uh, if you want to um, pick this uh, Cohere for AI model and pick that and activate it. And uh, it got saved, just close this out and uh, come to the new chat. And if you, it'll pick automatically the Cohere for AI. And you can use this um, model to uh, implement uh, your uh, use cases, okay? So this is going to give the details. So this, this way you can leverage this hugging chat to explore all the models available and pick the model 
and use it in your uh, application. You can build your own application and publish it here so that uh, the people from around the world will come and use your application. And the second one is uh, LM Studio. The LM Studio is one of the beautiful uh, environment that can be installed in your uh, uh, MacBook or Windows environment. You can uh, download and install and play around. So what I did, um, I downloaded this um, LM Studio for Mac, but the requirement is your Mac should have M1, M2, or M3 chip. So I got this downloaded and I opened this one, the application, and I'm moving it to this uh, installation. So it got um, installed. So now I open this application from my local desktop. So you can see the UI like this. The beauty is you can just go and search what are all the models available here in this uh, LM Studio to play around. You can uh, download any of the models. I just uh, typed Granite, this is very popular now. And if you look at this, it's 17,899 downloads already done. So I already clicked download and uh, now it's going to complete. So once this model is getting downloaded, I can use it in my local desktop and I can use this model to play around. So let's see how we can do that. So the download is complete. I'm going to new chat. And then if you look at that, it is going to provide an option for me to pick. Um, so it was already using Meta Llama. I want to pick this one to change to Granite. So now the model is getting loaded. It takes a little time. So now the model is Granite 7 billion. So I'm going to use this one to chat. Click on new chat here. This has this question. It got uh, the answer. This was generated by Granite uh, Lab 7 billion. This model was um, created by IBM. So this gives the details about this one. And you can build your application and integrate this model with your application and uh, create it from it in local. And this is the playground where you can go and uh, select what type of models available. If you want to um, project the model or you want to pick the right model, you can do it. And another beauty is you can build your own server, local server, and use that server to train this model or prompt this model. So for that, you have to go here and then uh, click on Start Server. So this will get started. If you look at this, um, the parameters, like get post uh, parameters are here displayed. You can just use this one to play around. 